Hi everyone, in this video we'll learn how to read and write JSON files using Python. Before we get started, let's review the package we'll use, which is the JSON module. JSON, also pronounced JSON sometimes, stands for JavaScript Object Notation. JSON is a lightweight data interchange format based on a subset of the JavaScript programming language. The text format is independent of language, meaning JSON files can be read or written using Python, R, C++, Rust, and many other programming languages. JSON is widely used for interacting with application programming interfaces, also known as APIs, on the web. There are two structures that JSON is built upon, an ordered list with values and a collection of name and value pairs. We'll see this once we start working with the notebook. Within Python, these two structures correspond to lists and dictionaries. Let's start first by taking a look at a JSON file. Here I have Visual Studio and I have a JSON file opened. We can see all the curly braces that are similar to a Python dictionary here. Then we have our information broken up within the JSON file. We can see here that we have a key called playlists. And within this playlist key, we have various names of playlists and music tracks listed within the key. This data is from a Kaggle dataset that is a Spotify playlist database. If we go back, what we'll do first is we're going to read in this JSON file into Python. I'm going to start by calling with, then open, and I am going to open up our dataset. It's called playlist underscore data JSON. And I need to specify that we're reading this, so I need to put in the second parameter an R here. And I'm going to call this read file. Next, I am going to create a variable called playlistict. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the JSON package. I'm going to load in the file that we just read here. Let's run this. And because our JSON file is pretty big, I can't print out the full dictionary, but we can take a look at some of the elements of the dictionary. So I'm going to call the playlist dict. Then I'll take a look at the keys. And we can see here that we have two keys. We have the information and playlists. If we go back to our JSON file, we can see that we have our information listed here. And then we can see the playlists, which contain most of our data and the actual playlists for the songs. What I'll do first is I am going to take the playlist dict and print out the info. Since our playlist dict is a dictionary, we can call it as the info as the key, and we can run this. We can see that we have the same information that we saw on the JSON file, and this is when the data was generated, the specific slice of the data subset, and then the version of the data. Next, what I'm going to do is I am going to take a look at the playlists key. And what I am going to do here is I won't print this out. I'm actually going to look at the type and we're going to type in type playlists. And we can see that once we call the playlist key, we have this all saved within a list format and we'll have to iterate through that. So this goes back to JSON files containing both lists and dictionaries. So keep in mind, if you read a JSON file into Python, the underlying object could be either a list or a dictionary. Let's move on and let's actually parse through our JSON data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a for loop. I'm going to say for playlist in playlist dict. Then I am going to print out the playlist and for our playlist within here, we have a, another dictionary and I am going to print out the name of the actual playlists. Let's run this. We can see here that we have the name of the playlist printed out. So we have everything from throwbacks to old country. Then we have different things like sad songs. What I want to do is I want to find a playlist that I might like. So I'll just use the search function and I am going to take a look at rap classics. That's a playlist I might be interested in. So since we have this saved within a list format, what I want to do is I want to find the index position where rap classics is saved. So what I am going to do is I'm going to create another for loop. I'm going to say for IDX playlist, I'm going to use enumerate to print out the index position. And I am going to do this for the playlist dict playlists. 
And I am going to say that if the playlist name is equal to rat classics, then I want to print out the index position. Iterating over this, we can see that the index position for rat classics is in index position 170. What I'll do next is I am going to create a separate variable to store the information for this playlist. I'll call it rap dict. And then what I am going to do is I am going to call the playlist dict. I am going to go into the playlists. And because this is a list, what I need to do is put in the index position. So index position 170. Then I can print this out. And we can see that we have our rap classics dictionary saved into a separate variable. Next, what I want to do is I want to take a look at the underlying song data within our playlist. So I'm going to run another for loop. I'll say for song data in my rap dict, and I want to go in and take a look at the underlying tracks. So we are accessing another dictionary within our dictionary. So this is a nested dictionary, and I'm going to use print formatting to print out some information. Within our nested dictionary, I want to print out the name of the artist, then I want to print out the track name of the song as well. Let's run this. We can see that we have various artists here. We have Biggie, and then we have a song, Big Papa. We have Tupac, California Love, as well as various other songs. What I want to do next is, since I have all this saved and this is relevant to me, I am going to write this into a JSON file. Like before, we're going to start with open, but this time we're going to write instead of read the JSON file. I am going to call this wrap classics, and then I need to put in the JSON extension here. Then for the second parameter, I need to specify that we're writing it. So I need to put in a W, and I'll call this out file for a variable. Then what I need to do is call the JSON module. I need to call the dump function then I need to pass in two additional parameters, the actual wrap dictionary itself, and then the out file. We should be good here. Let's take a look at the JSON file now. We can see that we were able to create it, and we have a JSON file with our wrap classics playlist, and we can see that we have the underlying tracks here. So we have Big Papa. So we were able to successfully write our Python dictionary to a JSON file format. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. The data that came from this was from a large Kaggle data set. You can check it out if you'd like here. If you want to learn more about JSON, I included additional references here. If you liked the video, feel free to like and subscribe. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, Twitter, GitHub, Medium, and Odyssey. Thanks everyone for watching and happy coding.